Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disneyland and I am so excited. We are going to be dining at Tiana's Palace, the brand new quick service restaurant in New Orleans Square. I can't wait to try some beignets and also see the restaurant itself. And then we're going to go ride some rides that I have never been on before. And also the Holiday Haunted Mansion is here. So let's eat some food, ride some rides and have a beautiful Disneyland kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I gotta tell you guys, the feeling I get when I first come to Disneyland is unexplainable. I'm just so happy to be here. It is such a beautiful place. Tiana's Palace is where the French market used to be and I'm so happy that they changed it over and I cannot wait to try the food. In fact, I feel like a lot of people cannot wait to try the food because mobile ordering started at 7 a.m. this morning and it was completely booked by like 7.30. And here it is, Tiana's Palace and look at the standby line. Holy moly, it's gotta be at least an hour or two. It goes all the way back to the Haunted Mansion and I think it has three or four switchbacks. Disney invited me out to New Orleans to actually retrace the Imagineer steps uh, as they did research for Tiana's Bayou Adventure and Tiana's Palace. So I went to some of the real life food spots that inspired the food inside Tiana's Palace. One of them being Dookie Chases, which is the real life inspiration of Princess Tiana. And that is such a beautiful video. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out, especially if you want a little backstory and history and uh, yeah, now we're gonna just gotta make our way towards Tiana's Palace now. Here is a look at the menu. They have house filled beignets, house gumbo, seven greens gumbo, seven greens gumbo with chicken and sausage, Cajun spiced half chicken, a muffaletta, a beef po' boy, a golf shrimp and grits, lots of amazing things. And I can't wait to try the seven greens gumbo. That is so good. But also the beignets, like there's so much. I feel like we need to get it all. Since we're here super early in the morning eating beignets and gumbo, uh, I think we're gonna head back to the hotel and change after we uh, get done at Tiana's Palace so that we could be fresh and ready to go for the evening here at Disneyland. And I can't wait to ride a bunch of rides. Like I said, there's still some rides I've never been on before. And today, I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna be able to say I've ridden every single Disneyland ride. And uh, also, I mentioned the Haunted Mansion Holiday. Nightmare Before Christmas is here and it's a tradition to see it every single year and what would be Tiana's palace without Tiana look at that thank you I'm excited to try some of them man catching beignets oh I just love the whole entire ambience of this place. I love the music they have playing in the background and even the live entertainment. They have a jazz band that comes out and actually performs. And then uh, Tiana is just walking around greeting guests. I don't know if she's here just for today or if she's just going to be here regularly. I'm sure with Disneyland, the way that they have, uh, you know, characters just roaming the park. Uh, but it would be nice to see her just like hop in and just check on everyone, see how the food is. I feel like that's how uh, uh, Tiana would do it I feel like she'd be like how's everything here sugar she did it she said it so good that's how she says it Here is a look at the inside of the restaurant and it is beautiful in here. Look at that. The lighting, all of the decorations and the theming. Wow. It's the fanciest quick service I have ever been to. And look, oh my lord, you can catch them filling the beignets. You grab a couple of beignets there, just like that. And then, bada boom. Oh, those are going to be so good. Inside the restaurant, they have some Easter eggs for the movie Princess and the Frog, and I'll try to point those out to you. But also, I just want to show you guys the theming because I feel like they did a great job, and it's only going to look better at night. 
In the restaurant, they actually have a little picture of Tiana and her father, and I think that is adorable, along with uh, some photos and some letters of people coming and talking about how much they enjoyed the restaurant. And I like that. Oh, you also have uh, some ingredient cards over here, along with the menu. It just seems so fancy, and it's great that we got to see Tiana, too. Another cool Easter egg is they have Tiana's hat and coat right here hanging up because she's in the back there whipping up some man catching beignets. All right, it's time to dive into the beignets. I had to start off with the beignet, you know what I mean? I wanted to go with that one first because I love beignets. They're my favorite, and I'm so excited to try this one because it's got all that lemon in there, and it just looks so cool. And also, look at the cool button they give you. Opening day, September 7, 2023, Tiana's Palace. All right, here we go. Time to try the lemon, uh, the house beignet. It is a messy eat, but boy, oh boy, it is amazing. It is so good. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I'm going to be getting a lot of these. These are actually a really, really messy eat. Holy moly. Like, it is just like spilling everywhere, but I can't stop taking bites. <laughs> Maria ended up getting a fancy plate. Now, this is actually a ceramic uh, lily pad plate and a teacup that comes with it. A lot of people don't know you can mobile order and get it. And it's a souvenir, you can get two per person. I think it's worth it. Not only is it a little heavy, but it's really good quality. And look how cute, I mean. I like that. How much is it? Uh, $36, which honestly- That's not a bad deal. Wear, this is actually a very good price for a Disney, again, collectible. And you get, again, the teacup that says Tiana's Palace. And you can mobile order it. Yeah. Wow, they're gonna sell out. Yeah, they're selling out. I love this. Now, don't you guys worry, just because you can get lemon-filled beignets now or house beignets at Tiana's Palace doesn't mean you can't get your traditional Mickey beignets because they are still available over at the Mint Julep Bar. And I just love those because I like anything Mickey-shaped. All right, it is time to dive into my gumbo. And I went with just the regular house gumbo. We'll try the rest of the food later on, like the ones that we got for the mobile order. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it. Tons of sausage, tons of chicken in there. It looks pretty good, but I'm gonna miss my jambalaya that they used to have here at the French market. You know, I have really high standards when it comes to gumbo because I got to try so many amazing gumbo recipes over in New Orleans, especially like Dookie Chase's, and I'm excited to see what Tiana's uh, family recipe is gonna be like. So here we go, cheers to gumbo. So far out of everything, I think my favorite is probably just the house gumbo. You know what I mean? I like the seven greens gumbo because it's plant-based, but I like how they give you the option that you can add chicken and sausage to it to make it like very more flavorful. But I don't know, it's so, oh, you know what? Oh, I'm sorry, I take that all back. It's the beignets. <laughs> Did you try the yes. cornbread? I, yes, the beignets are better than the cornbread. All right, enough of the gumbo business. It's time to head back home and change out and then come back and ride some rides. It's crazy to think we rope dropped like uh, Tiana's Palace. You know what I mean? Uh, Tiana, yeah, like, you know, we rope dropped that. And uh, now I wanna kinda just relax and ride a bunch of rides. I'm so excited. I think we're gonna take one of the fire trucks down to the front of the park. I feel like people need to appreciate the Main Street transportation more than they do. Bye! That was 
so awesome driving the fire truck down Main Street USA and then arriving there with the marching band that's a way to leave the park but uh, yeah oh and also Tiana's uh, palace uh, I have to say I think the beignets the house beignets and the house gumbo are the way to go that's gonna be my regular order every time I visit there but I love it I think it's beautiful the music the restaurant itself and the food everything it was amazing we made our way back to our hotel and I'm staying at the Disneyland Hotel and I'm so excited to show you guys my room. It's beautiful, uh, but that'll be a separate video, like an actual Disneyland Hotel video. Now we just want to change real quick and then head back into the park. Now we're ready to head back to the park and hang out and ride some more rides. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys my view real quick. It is so beautiful. It overlooks all of the Disneyland Resort. And I'm so lucky to be staying in this room. It's, it's amazing. While we're here, I just wanted to show you guys my view because I appreciate it so much. But uh, we are staying at the top of the Disneyland Hotel in a two-bedroom villa. And uh, look at this view. You can see everything. Matterhorn, Galaxy's Edge. Over on this side, you can see Cars Land. You can see Guardians of the Galaxy. It's amazing. And I didn't even know the Disneyland Hotel had uh, two-bedroom. I didn't even know they had like suites like this or even places with balconies. Look, they have balconies, all of them. That's so cool. Oh, I love coming to Disneyland during the fall season. All of the pumpkins and decorations, it's so beautiful. Look at Goofy up there. Goofy lantern. Brings a smile to my face. A smile to your face. Oh, hello, Captain Hook. Can we uh, take a photo by chance? Oh, yes, please, thank you. I'm gonna go this way. Thank you. My hook. Yeah, that's the one. Ah, uh, eee! Thanks. One of my favorite things about Disneyland is the fact that characters just walk around the park and it's so special because you don't even know they're there. Whenever I come to Disneyland, I drink Tapo Chico with lime like every single day. Yeah, it's because I discovered it here. One day me and my friend Dom were hanging out and he was like, hey, you want a Tapo Chico? And I was like, sure, I'll try it. And now I'm hooked and I get them every single time I come here. There are some rides in the park that I have never done before. In fact, I have never even been into Toontown. Well, I went into the original Toontown once, but I've never been back since uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway opened up. And also, I've only ever ridden uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the ride, once. So I'd love to ride that again to see what it's like, especially since we just saw Judge Doom over at uh, Oogie Boogie Bash. I love it in here. It's so beautiful. I love the mountains and I love how it says Toontown up in the hills there. And it's so cool because you got like the good, bo uh, good boy grocers. Uh the first lightning lane I purchased for the day is Roger Rabbit. Well, who framed Roger Rabbit? And uh, it's not for about an hour from now, but I really wanted to make sure I rode that ride. Like that's the least, like, that's the most anticipated ride for me because I only rode it once. And uh, now I think we'll go ride something in between. We have, like I said, just about an hour wait. All right, it's time. I am so excited to knock off like another ride from my bucket list. I've never rode Chippendale's Gadget Coaster and it says a 30 minute wait and we'll see. It's a little kitty coaster. Oh, I like how the arrow's actually pointing to the coaster right now. Look at that. But you know, you got to do it. I want to ride them all. Hey, I tested everything myself and she's ship shaped. Wait, I guess I really mean she's coaster shaped. Wow, look at this view. Holy moly. Oh, we're coming down. What a view. Up the water's coming down to us. Woo! a fun little coaster it lasted like less than a minute but it was really nice and I like the water and the theming and now uh, I can say I read almost every ride in Disneyland except for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway 
Next up is the Roger Rabbit ride and I'm so excited. Look at Cabby up there. That is so cool and I'm so excited to ride this ride again. It's been, oh man, at least 10 years. Here comes our Cabby. Look at that. Ooh. Fancy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I love this ride. That was awesome. Who Framed Roger Rabbit was way better than I actually remember. I wrote it once when I very first came to Disneyland and honestly, I would put that in my top 10 rides. I am that much of a fan, like I loved it. I thought it was so cool and I'm so happy that I got a chance to ride it again. Like I said, I've been here many of times since my first time, but it's always been closed or down for some reason. So this is the first chance that I got to ride it again and I loved it. Well, enough of the beignet business. I think it's time we make it to the Haunted Mansion holiday. And uh, this is my favorite uh, ride overlay. Like, better than any other ride overlays in Walt Disney World or anywhere. This is just beautiful. And as much as I would love to see it in Walt Disney World, I don't want it to come because I enjoy coming out to Disneyland to actually come ride this. And it's been a tradition kind of for me now. Look at this, they even decorated the pet cemetery. Here lies my snake, whose fatal mistake was frightening the gardener who carried a rake.
one cover. so much like it is so great the haunted mansion is one of my all-time favorite attractions and i also loved nightmare before christmas and combining those two was just genius and i think we're gonna pull an audible and make our way over to dca but uh magic happens is starting right now so i think we're gonna stop and watch a little bit of it i mean i have to it's my favorite like parade song this is the moment <laughs> Dante, 
He actually dies right now. It's so crazy. <laughs> Look at that. He did though. Wow! hard not to like stay and watch magic is uh, uh happens magic happens <laughs> look at this isn't it just so beautiful it's the lights that does it for me and then the music of course and the projections on the Carthay circle oogie boogie right at the top there all stitched up Of course, it's always fun to cut through Cars Land to head down to Incredicoaster, but look at how beautiful this is. Wow, I tell you, this is one thing I really wish I had over on the East Coast. I would spend many hours sitting here just hanging out, listening to the crickets. You can actually hear crickets though, especially at night. Now. If those crickets are real, honestly, I don't know. Disney has been confusing me for years. I mean, sometimes I really think I'm listening to something that's uh, like real and I find out it's just uh, some sounds Disney pumped in. But then there's some times where I thought it was sounds pumped in, but it was actually real. So uh, I really, I just can't tell anymore. And we made our way to Incredicoaster. I am so excited. Oh, look at it go. Yep, that's us. gets me going more than Incredicoaster. Man, in front row too. Would you look at that? I made it back to Cars Land and uh, the group's all here. Or I'll promise the gang is all here. Well, and we're gonna go uh, ride. Uh... Before we do, we're just taking in this view. This is the yes. best bench at all of Disneyland, right here. It is true, it is a nice view. And with that, we are done here tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna call tonight, sleep in my bed, and uh, kind of dream away. I'm so excited to turn on the fireworks on the headboard and listen to the music and just kind of drift away and go to sleep. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.
This is literally just my favorite thing about the Disneyland Hotel. Going to bed now.